Welcome to Form.io, your full stack form and data management platform. This video will guide you through the first four key milestones to help you get started with the platform after receiving your Form.io license key. Whether you're a developer setting things up for the first time or leading a project launch, this guide will give you everything you need to stand up, configure, and start building with Form.io. Milestone 1. Get the platform running. Spin up the platform using a Docker container. This is your starting point and the gateway to the rest of the journey with Form.io. You can deploy Form.io in a variety of ways. Locally for rapid testing and development, in the cloud using providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, or on-premise deployment into your own infrastructure. Once the services are running, you'll have access to both the developer portal and API server. License keys are managed on the hosted Form.io portal within the License Management tab. Here you can review your license key allocations and information like the environment ID. License management can only be accessed using the Form.io user account assigned to the license key. Milestone 2. Log into the developer portal. Standing the platform up is great, but getting into the developer portal is even better. Configure your preferred authentication method to log into the Form.io portal. Once you're in, set up your team and make sure the right people have access into your projects. The portal-based project is strictly used to govern the behavior of the developer portal itself and may be used to configure authentication into the deployed portal. Use this project when setting up your portal authentication. This project will automatically be created when the portal has been deployed into your environment and can be configured or accessed using the admin account specified during the deployment process. There are two main authentication methods to control user access to the Form.io deployed portal. Resource-based authentication utilizes Form.io resources to create and manage user accounts. Users are manually created in a resource form within the portal-based project where their email and password credentials are stored within the Form.io platform. This method is ideal for simple internal access control if your organization does not utilize external identity providers. Keep in mind, no email invitation is sent to the user when the record is created this way. Credentials must be shared directly. SAML or OIDC SSO authentication connects Form.io to an external identity provider like OntraID, Okta, and Auth0. This method allows users to automatically authenticate through your organization's authentication provider. Users within their respective SSO groups can be mapped to Form.io teams, giving controlled, role-based access to the deployed developer portal. SSO authentication is ideal for enterprise deployments that require centralized user management and security policies. After authentication has been set up, create teams to organize users and define access to the deployed portal and respective projects. This ensures the right people have visibility into your project. For resource-based authentication, users are added using their email defined in their respective resource. SSO users are added to teams automatically by mapping the SSO provider group to a Form.io team for seamless authentication in portal or project access. Milestone 3. Create and embed your first form. Now that your team is in, you can now create your first form. Form.io's drag and drop form builder offers a multitude of field and layout options, supporting advanced logic, conditional fields, validation, and custom components. Once your fields are in place, configure the form's access permission to control what user groups can interact with the form and what actions they're allowed to take, such as submitting the form or viewing or updating the form's submission data. Once your form is ready, it's time to embed the form into your custom application. 
Every form generates a unique embed URL that is used to integrate your form into your application. This is where application-based authentication comes into play. You'll configure authentication in the project that's connected to your custom application, allowing your end users, such as customers, staff, or administrators, to securely log in to the app itself. The setup closely mirrors the authentication configuration used for the deployed portal in the previous milestone, but it serves your application instead of the deployed Form.io platform. It's important to understand the distinction. Portal authentication is set up in the portal-based project and controls access for Form.io platform users. Application authentication is set up in the project linked to your app and controls access for your applications and users. Milestone 4. Incorporate integrations. Forms are just the beginning. The real value comes from how they connect to the rest of your systems. Do your forms need to collect files, send submission data via email, maybe push it to another system using a webhook? Forms never exist in a vacuum. Explore how to interact with the rest of your technology stack with Form.io. For example, use the file component to allow end users to upload documents or images to your forms. You can choose to store these files in Form.io or route them to your own external storage system. Set up email actions to automatically send confirmation messages to users or notify internal teams whenever a form is submitted. Configure webhooks to instantly push submission data to your CRM, database, or any custom service for real-time processing. With Form.io, your forms are never siloed, but integrated pieces of your entire architecture. Let's recap what we've accomplished. We deployed the Form.io platform using Docker Container to our local machine, cloud, or on-premise environment. We set up portal access using resource base or SSO authentication and organized our Form.io users into teams for controlled portal access. We created our first form, set access permissions, and embedded it into our app with proper authentication for our end users. And then finally, we enhanced our forms with file uploads, automated emails, and webhooks to connect with our broader tech stack. With these four milestones, you're ready to build, scale, and connect faster with Form.io. Visit our help documentation or contact our support team for more information about the platform.